This video is about using a 60P block in conjunction with a 5 inch fence post kit. This is the front of the fence post kit. On the inside it has one of those big block balancers. It has a voltage gauge. You can read the voltage of the battery. It has a connection that goes to the back where the resistor is located in the back cap. This is the front cap. Here's the back cap. You can see the resistor located in it and it has a nice um, cooling fan built in there to blow air over the resistor. So I'm going to show how to assemble this into a 60P battery block. These 60P big block balancer kits are used by people who want to upgrade from lead acid batteries to lithium on their sailboats, in their RVs, uh, their golf carts, trolling motors, electric motors. So. Let's build a 60P battery block with the big block balancer fence post kit. So here are the two end pieces. Um, we'll start with the black one. We'll start by putting in all the negative um, parallel connectors. They just slide in these slots here on the side. Your battery block when you get it shipped will come with these inserted. I just took them out to show you what, how easily they go in and out. So we'll need five of them, and each of these holds 12, holds 12 uh, batteries, so that gives us 60P. 5 times 12 is 60. Okay, there they are all in there. I kind of give it a visual and be sure they're all uh, lined up. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's got to be close. Okay, here comes the fun part. Let's start putting the cells in. Notice how they sort of just stick into place. Of course, I'm putting the negative side towards the black. All the positives are going up. If you've got a quicker way to assemble a battery, I'd like to hear about it. This is the fastest way I know of to do it. You can skip ahead if you want to where this assembly gets finished. You get the idea. This one came dislodged. Let's put it back. So these magnets hold them all in place in their own spot pretty nicely as it, they do on all battery blocks. The trick on this guy is, is getting the, the top piece on. This is actually the easy spot part of course. But, I'll show you a trick that makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> okay, 12 more to go. Alright, there we have them all in there. They're all lined up. All 60 of them. Alright, now the trick comes to getting this piece over the top. Notice I've got the parallel plates. The magnet plates aren't in there yet. I'm going to put those in afterwards. This will make it easier to assemble. These battery blocks have got little spikes right here, notches. That's so they can plug into the next block if you decide to use a couple of these in series or parallel. So be sure that, just for form, good form, be sure that the notches uh, line up. Now let's try getting this guy on here. Okay, it sort of involves just kind of a lot of wiggling and fussing. Finding out which battery is holding it up and moving it. Pretty close. There we go. 
So now it is all slipped over there. It's a little bit of a struggle, I admit, but with some patience you can do it quickly. Now here's the cool part. You just take these tops and just slide them in like this. Just like that. Lining up the holes at the top. See, of course, the magnets are on the downside. But you knew that. You might have to lift it up just a little bit to get some clearance. Okay, everything's all lined up. I'm checking it to be sure nothing is getting hot. This is really important. It is possible, of course, to make a mistake and put one or two of these cells in upside down. And if you do, you have really goofed up. But fortunately, you can just rip this whole top right off and fix it should it start to get hot. It's not going to be a disaster. It's not like it's spot welded or anything. It's easy to detect. Something will smell bad. You'll see a spark when you're assembling it. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll say, huh, God, things are starting to get warm. That's, that's weird. So watch for that. If it doesn't get hot, everything stays cool, you're good to go to the next step. But there, you've just assembled 60 batteries in parallel in a 60p brick. All right, so we've just made a 60p brick. That slips nicely into a 5-inch fence post tube. There's some headroom in there, but it fits snugly from side to side. These 12p, the 60p block, is uh, built to fit snugly inside here. All right, so now we're going to go with the caps. We'll have one cap on one end and the other cap on the other. This is a five inch fence post tube, as I mentioned. It is cut 10 inches long. There's holes here on, on both sides of this to screw into the holes that are manufactured into the sides of the fence post case. You mark these holes with this little included piece I've got. I'll send with the kit and it sort of goes on the edge right there. You can see the hole, make your pencil mark, drill or punch your hole, and you're good to go. That'll help you get the alignment right. Here's the front. The front, of course, has got the voltage gauge on it. We'll take one of these connector bars, put it through the slot here. Okay, it goes all the way through like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bus bar on it and I'm going to hold that bus bar in place loosely with a lock nut. So this bus bar goes this way. This will be for connecting it side to side. But when you're stacking them, you might want to go top to bottom. So here's the bus bar that goes top to bottom. And I'm just going to hold that there loosely in place. Okay, so there's the two different bus bar arrangements. Okay, there's some wires that come out here. Let's clear these wires. We're going to slide this in. The thing that you have to pay attention to is, of course, the red's positive and the black's negative. And you need to be aware of, of which side you want to be your, your connection to go to uh, for your series connection. So you have to rotate the block to make it match the direction you want to go. So having done that, let's just go ahead and slip these two over the sides. This wire goes back over the black. We have these two leads here. One goes up to red, and the other comes down to black. Okay? These holes all come over here and they line up. So I'm going to take a few minutes and put um, nuts through these. It's pretty simple. All right. We've got all the bolts in, and all the nuts are tightened. Um, uh, I always use a little hand driver to tighten them. Here's the wire, the red wire that comes from the... Um, it comes from here to the top, the red's positive. And that's what's powering the chip and the voltage meter. And here's the black wire, and that's what's powering this. The chip and the voltage meter inside there. Then there's this wire which comes over the top and this wire is going to go to the back. It's going to go connect to the back connector right here. As you can see the positive lead of this attaches to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative goes up back to the control chip, the bleeding, the bleeder chip. 
Okay, so that's it. And the bus bars, of course, can get tightened. When you're ready, when you ready to put the next one on, they just snug down. So that's how you connect, uh, that's what the inside of this looks up looks like. Okay, so it slides into the tube sideways, like this. So it slides in. I'm making sure to keep this uh, back piece clear out here because I'm going to need to grab it here in a moment. Here's my back piece. This plugs right into here. And now the fan and the resistor unit are hooked up. And this fits right on the back just like this. So we've already screwed the ends in place. We've um, used the template and we've made the holes and drilled the holes. See, the, got a hole right there. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera to show you're supposed to drill the holes. And these are plastic screws and they're uh, pan head so that they're going to sink in to the plastic a little bit so that you can stack the blocks a little bit closer together. And the whole assembly weighs about um, nine pounds. Of course you see how you can assemble all these together to connect to other blocks. So this would be just one large parallel group. Bye.